data in a lot of different ways is changing many aspects of our life and of the world, right? And sports is just one area where that's happening really, really rapidly. In baseball and softball in particular, it's still a very numbers-driven game. It's a game built around statistics. We've developed sensor technology, and that sensor technology allows us to take sensors and put them inside of baseball bats, uh, and then put sensors inside of baseballs and softballs. The ability to have that sensor gives us the opportunity to collect really valuable information on what happens with those motions. We collect um, almost 10,000 data points per second. And we understand exactly how that ball or that bat is moving through space. So the angles, the speeds, the positions of it. A really approachable metric that most people understand is just velocity, right? So how hard am I throwing that ball? So we use all of the data coming out of the accelerometer, which measures acceleration, and the gyroscope, which really measures how the ball is oriented in space, to generate this really impressive 3D picture of both the pitch and the swing. Once we receive all that data, we have what we call a physics engine that looks at all of the data that was recorded from inside the sensors, and it turns that into this real-world representation of what happened. I look at sports and tech in particular as a great way to merge your passions. I uh, was somebody who loved computers growing up and I had just happened to be playing sports all the time, never thought I'd be inside of a company that was doing sports and tech together. If you think about where your passions lie, there is probably uh, an industry around the intersection of your passions.